And so we're on to our sixth poem now, I believe, um, and one of my favourite ones, actually, um, because I have quite an interest in World War One, and this is by the very famous World War One poet, Wilfred Owen, and it is called Exposure. Our brains ache in the merciless iced east winds that knife us. Weary it, we keep awake because the night is silent. Low, drooping flares confuse our memory of the salient. Worried by silence, sentries whisper, curious, nervous, but nothing happens. Watching, we hear the mad gusts tugging at the wires, like twitching agonies of men among its brambles. Northward, incessantly, the flickering gunnery rumbles far off like a dull rumour of some other war. What are we doing here? The poignant misery of dawn begins to grow. We only know that war lasts, rain soaks, and cloud sags stormy. Dawn massing in the east, her melancholy army attacks once more in ranks on shivering ranks of grey, but nothing happens. Sudden successive flights of bullets streak the silence, less deadly than the air that shudders black with snow, with sidelong flowing flakes that flock, pause, and renew. We watch them wandering up and down, the wind's nonchalance, but nothing happens. Pale flakes with fingering stealth come feeling for our faces. We cringe in holes, back on forgotten dreams, and stare snow dazed deep into grassier ditches. So we drowse, sun dozed, littered with blossoms trickling with blackbird fusses. Is it that we're dying? Slowly our ghosts drag home. Glimpsing the sunk fires, glozed with crusted dark red jewels. Crickets jingle there. For hours the innocent mice rejoice. The house is theirs. Shutters and doors all closed on us. The doors are closed. We turn back to our dying. Since we believe not otherwise can kind fires burn, now ever suns smile true on child or field or fruit. For God's invincible spring, our love is made afraid. Therefore, not loath, we lie out here. Therefore, we're born, for love of God seems dying. Tonight, this frost will fasten on this mud and us, shriveling many hands and puckering foreheads crisp. The burying party picks and shovels in shaking grasp, paws over half known faces. All their eyes are ice. But nothing happens. Right, so I've got some pictures then. Um, just one second. 